What's up guys? So let's check out all of the Overwatch patch notes and I'll also give you guys my thoughts as a GM a player. So starting right off, we're going to go through the tanks and the first one is going to be Reinhardt. So the changes aren't going to reflect in here because keep in mind in the training ground, certain things are also changed, but the patch hasn't hit the live server. I'm just trying to give you guys a visual thing to look at while we talk about the patch notes. So starting right off, what are the changes with Reinhardt? So his armor is actually being reduced from 300 to 250, but the base health is going up from 175 to 200. So basically a 25 a uh, health boost but a 50 armor loss so Bruh. it's actually a pretty big nerf to reinhardt basically maybe one to two shots different so that is going to be something that you'll have to consider if you are playing a, a really aggressive reinhardt but overall not too big of a change the next one up is actually a pretty big change this actually has to do with his accretion that's the rock so now you're no longer going to be able to do this combo. So normally you would throw the rock, right? And then you just hold your left click and it instas someone, right? Now this change over here is going to make it so the impact is reduced from 60 to 40. And then there's also some splash damage. But basically the knockdown is increased. However, it's not going to allow you to basically one shot. So what it's going to require your team to do is basically follow up on the attack or the target would have to be not at full HP for the most part, unless it's like Tracer or maybe like Widow. So just a net nerf for Sigma, but it's a pretty big one because it doesn't allow him to one shot. I'm not going to read too much in terms of like the developer notes and like the reasons why, but like they mentioned like, you know, kind of like Roadhog's ability to one shot. Bro, Roadhog doesn't one shot no more, okay? So that's a huge nerf to Sigma. Um, it's crazy that they're nerfing Sigma's one-shot ability when like Widow exists in the game, Hanzo still exists in the game. That's not fair! But nonetheless, it's gonna be a pretty massive nerf to Sigma, which is weird because Sigma is literally one of the star players in the battle pass here is the final skin, which we'll talk about briefly also uh, in this video. But next up though, those are the changes with the tank. So not too big of a change. I was really hoping Junker Queen would get a buff because she's got a pretty cool skin. Just cool. So the next change over here, and again, this doesn't reflect right now in the gameplay, but uh, Cassidy's base health has been reduced from 225 to 200. So that's going to be obviously just straight up a nerf, but there's another nerf that's actually bigger for Cassidy. And they said it's because it's too easy to basically one shot. And what I mean by that is you stick and you basically wait for it to explode and you can literally shoot him in the body and pretty much no one's going to be able to heal. Them. So now that damage has been reduced from 131 to 120. So that means it'll be a 190 amount of damage. It's weird. They keep on trying to nerf one shots. Basically like Sojourn can't one shot now. Uh, and then on top of that, Cassidy can only like a one burst is maybe what I should call it. Because when the grenade explodes and you shoot them at the exact same time, they're not going to be able to be healed through that because it's just an instant set amount of damage. So that's actually a pretty big change to Cassidy. That's quite big. And I feel like they keep on talking about like being able to one shot, but again, like, you know, Widow and Hanzo is this. It's kind of weird in terms of the philosophy, but I don't know. That's their core, I guess, philosophy with Overwatch in terms of the reasons why they're nerfing certain heroes. Next up though, let's talk about Sombra. So Sombra actually just got straight up a buff. This is not their rework. I think that they're still going to rework Sombra. So what are the changes with Sombra? So now when she uses her EMP, her ultimate, if a Mei was to ult, let's say that uh, Mei shot out her ultimate and let's just pretend that... Uh, uh, this little thing is the ultimate. If I use my ultimate, that will stop May's ultimate. So it now disables Blizzard. So uh, that would be a overall uh, buff to May, but it's in a really weird department. It's kind of like how Sombra uh, can hack Orisa out of her ultimate. That was like another Sombra buff. But overall, that's the change with Sombra. It's not going to make a huge difference unless, of course, you're playing against May. And at that point, hey, just save your ult, wait for May to pop ult, and then you basically counter her ult, which is a good thing because it's a little device on the terrain. Next up, though, uh, in terms of support, and it uh, feels bad. I don't feel so good. Because, you know, Anna was one of my favorite characters. Uh, and uh, she actually got a pretty big nerf. So it's the maximum duration on tank heroes on the sleep dart is reduced by 30%. So instead of it being uh, five seconds, it's now a 3.5 second duration on a sleep. So uh, that makes it so tanks are going to be a lot better at dealing with on just kind of putting them to sleep, especially since they're so easy to hit. Um, so again, this is a pretty big nerf because a lot of times if you sleep the tank, you can tell your team, hey, I slept the tank, do something to him, which is knocking him off the map or whatever the case may be. Um, at the lower rank, this might not make that much of a difference because for whatever reason, at the lower ranks of the game, you put someone to sleep and they instantly wake them up anyways. But nonetheless, it is a uh, nerf to Ana that does matter quite a bit. So those are the changes with uh, Ana. 
And then now, next up, this one actually has a video. I'm going to play it so you guys can kind of see it. Let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so you guys can at least see it a little bit better. So this is the change with Brig. She got a rework on her ultimate, and I can't play it because, well, it's like not in the actual game right now. So there's a video over here. You can see Samito. He's using Brig's uh, ultimate. And the new Brig ultimate is insane. You can see the shield goes up. You can actually stun people once again. Oh, no. You can see he... <laughs> He's quite upset because uh, he's not a fan of Brig. Uh, that that includes me too. I'm gonna cry because Brig is not a very fun hero to play up against. But uh, since we've been playing a little bit more support, this is what Brig's uh, newer changes do. And again, it won't reflect in the gameplay because it's not out yet. But uh, Brig now gains with her ultimate a 100 restorable armor uh, health pool for the duration of rally. But Brig no longer gradually builds temporary health like her nearby allies. So that is kind of a nerf in a sense. And then the barrier health is increased. So it's more than double and it becomes a lot bigger. And then when you use the ultimate, if I was to shield and then stun someone like I could with old Brig, it now does apply that stun. I believe it's a very short stun. I don't know what the numbers have been, I guess, specified here. And the bonus movement speed has been reduced from 30 to 15 percent so brig when she pops her ultimate it's going to be very nasty to deal with it's simply just because of that stun uh brig might actually be one of the more stronger heroes in season four so like it's a giga buff to brig i'm stronger i'm smarter i'm better brig probably took the biggest w out of all of the heroes because her ultimate is just way way better because Again, not only do you get that 100 restorable armor health, which is really powerful, on top of that, you get a massive shield. So if Brig pops her ult, you can best believe more than likely she's going to be winning that team fight. So that's the change with Brig. I hate to say it, it was kind of cool. Now, there is also a pretty different change to Mercy. I would say overall, if you like to move around fast, this is a really nice change to Mercy because how she used to have her Guardian Angel uh, cooldown, it used to be 2.5 seconds. So this is going to be a nice buff to Mercy. Nice. Now you do lose out on a different buff and that was because she used to be able to actually heal when targets were under 50% HP, she would heal for more and you can see it in the gameplay. That's no longer going to work. Nope. So uh, there's a buff and a nerf. So starting right off with the buff, the healing per second is increased, but the healing no longer gets increased for our allies under half health. This was actually a really big buff. It was great really great when it first came out to tank specifically because when they were under 50 percent hp they still have a large amount of hp if they're taking damage they just don't die uh so that was a pretty nice buff that mercy got so overall i would say this is on just the healing part i would say overall i would consider that more than a nerf than a buff but in terms of guardian angel uh that changes is going to be a net buff so you have the cooldown change from 2.5 to 1.5 so she's going to be able to fly around and be a little bit more annoying Bruh. and get away from certain targets and then the jump crouch cancel active ability state has been increased from 1 to 1.5 seconds so that is uh, going to be a small little nerf over there and then the, the jump and crouch cancel active ability state can no longer be manually interrupted uh, to begin the cooldown early so i would say that's overall going to be another nerf another and then valkyrie which is the ultimate the passive is going to be active for the healing i don't know if any of you guys noticed but when they changed mercy with the not this patch because this patch isn't out yet but more recently when they changed mercy what happened was when she would pop her uh ult she could no longer regen so it's kind of interesting so i thought that that was kind of a bug so that's going to be nice um so that's overall going to be a that this specifically is a buff to mercy i'm going to move a little smaller we're not blocking everything now and then on top of that there is another change with moira this one actually has a video as well so basically all it comes down to is moira can actually use fade while using her ultimate so that is going to be a buff to moira but there's another massive buff that uh is actually in the notes as well um so it's just you can fade when you use your ultimate not that big of a deal in terms of like what i need to do to explain it you guys already saw from the little gameplay there but the coalescence bonus movement speed has been reduced so you do move slower but you, since you can use fade i would say overall it's a net buff just in case let's say like a diva uses her ultimate and you just can't move out of the way for whatever reason or someone uses their ability to get out you can kind of chase them down with coalescence so that's a net buff to moira for sure but the biggest change is the biotic grass that that's this right here when you heal with moira a lot of people don't know this you only need to heal for a brief uh well let's find another target here when this thing is not taking damage so it doesn't still go down so i only need to heal him and it will do a heal over time it's not like mercy where you have to keep the beam in order to heal i can just tap this once and that's going to work for two seconds this is actually going to be increased by 50 percent 
I don't think that they know uh, how big of a change that this is because this is going to make Moira insane for the amount of heals. That means I just need to tap like this and then I can go right back to DPSing. So Moira is going to be a very strong pick actually if you just want numerical stat values for a uh, support hero. That is going to be a huge change with Moira, and Moira actually will take maybe the second biggest dub in terms of this patch. Now, there's also a few other changes here, and I'm going to mention these rapid fire real quick because they don't have to really do with heroes. So, starting right off, we have a new arcade map at Tatlandis over here. So, and unfortunately, it's only arcade, so we can't play in ranked, and I only really play ranked, but we'll check out the map and we'll upload gameplay of it, and that isn't going to start immediately. In fact, they actually showed off their entire season plan here. Actually, let me move this on the screen so you guys can actually read it. Uh, so, starting right off, uh, that map map is going to come out on this is a fan made map and it begins on April 25th and then on May 23rd there's going to be a symmetric challenge where you could actually earn a free skin and on top of that they just mentioned some of the stuff in the battle pass which I don't really need to mention here in this video because it just has to do with the skins and I don't think I'm going to cover all the skins in this video but in terms of the season for maps so basically they removed all of the maps that were on rotation and now everything's available so that's gonna be awesome so all of these maps will be available but some of them they might be morning night and they may change like the time of day it doesn't really matter it's the same map it's just like the sky might look black or it might look like you know you know in the daytime so it's like nice and bright and blue so that's basically the changes over here with uh, some of the maps and it's just basically all the maps are there but some of them might be changed there is actually another patch note that is very important here so they fix a bunch of bugs but the only thing that actually mentioned that actually should have been in the patch notes but it's not it's for whatever in in the uh bugs here they fixed a bug that allowed ash to gain ultimate while bob was active so that is a pretty big nerf to ash you can get anywhere from like easily like 15 ish percent as long as you're uh, landing some of your shots when you throw out bob as ash this is actually only a net nerf when bob is out you're not going to be able to you grant yourself ult charge now if this is a bug there's a lot of other heroes in this game where they can still earn ult charge while their ult is already kind of going off so i feel like in terms of this being a bug it's weird they could have just mentioned it as a change here that's at least how i feel i feel like well junk queen shouldn't be really nerfed but i think junk queen can still get it ball can still get it there's a couple heroes when you, when you pop your ultimate you could still gain ult charge so uh maybe this will be also changed on these other heroes in the future so Keep that in mind as well there's also some other bugs here but i'm not really here to talk too much about bugs because there's like certain like random things or like if they had a certain skin certain things would happen but uh, that basically wraps it up for the patch notes and as far as uh you know my thoughts on it i would say they kind of stayed a little bit safe with the exception of brig brig is like the one character where i think they might have went too crazy with the brig ultimate we'll have to wait and see for gameplay and you know we'll play brig and gm and uh, we'll see if people complain about how annoying brig is because if you guys remember this hero actually started the biggest controversy in the history of overwatch in terms of uh one of the heroes that was the most not fun hero to play up against and because they have this massive buff of more than doubling the shield and on top of that she has her stun which made her so good it's coming back so if you're a support player i would definitely start learning brig start practicing her because she might be one of the best heroes in the entire game but let me know your thoughts on these patch notes i honestly wanted a bigger change i wanted to change to roadhog when is that rework coming i don't know they haven't announced it but that's what i'm most excited about but if you guys enjoyed the video drop a like on it if you're new here hit subscribe to the bell and when the new season comes out obviously life weaver is also coming out in the season i didn't really mention it because we already did a video that just covered uh you know my thoughts on that character but if you guys want to see it sub and you'll see it and i'll see you in the next video take care and let me know your thoughts down below peace out